So be use a lot of extra caution if you're going to be out there in the water. Those waves are going to be about five to six feet. So let's show you what a rip current looks like. OK, you're not really going to see. You can't sit on the beach and go. Oh, there's a rip current. That's very difficult to do, especially with the waves that we see around us uh, this time of the year. You also see this is kind of the motion that it takes. OK, so here's the beach. Here's the shallow water you'd likely be swimming in and the rip current can actually start to pull you in to the ocean. So I'll use a beach ball, for example, pulls it from that shallow water and jets it out there further into the ocean. If you start fighting it, unfortunately, you're just going to exhaust yourself then. So the best thing to do is actually just to ride that rip current out there, maybe while waving your arms and alerting uh, someone on shore that you're in trouble. And then once you're out there, there should be that rip current will eventually let you go and there should be a little bit of a pathway to start to swim back to the shore. So that's the best advice I have if you happen to get caught in a rip current. Good news is if you just don't go in any deeper than waist deep or knee deep for kids, you should be in okay shape. Obviously, just use some caution out there.